Hello everybody and welcome to another segment of Surge Tech Academy. Before I start, I want to remind you that if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for the latest videos and notifications. So today, we are going to be talking about draping a patient in the supine or prone position. Draping is one of those skills that can be pretty scary for new people because each surgeon has their own method and ideas of what the right and wrong way is to drape. I'm going to demonstrate some of the basic concepts knowing that everybody does it slightly differently. So now, I know that there are some considerable positioning concepts for those patients that are in prone position, but it doesn't really affect draping, which is why I think we can cover both positions with one draping video. Now first, I wanna start with a few key concepts on draping. And these concepts are surgeon first, create a cuff, never move, down or up. All right, I wanna say that again. Surgeon first, create a cuff, never move down or up. So first, let's start with supine position. I have my good friend, Charlie the mannequin, acting as our patient, and my good friend, Emma, who's going to act as the surgeon. For demonstration purposes, I am not wearing a mask or my goggles. All right, so first thing are the medium sheets or half sheets. So I'm gonna bring my medium sheet up. I'm gonna pass half of it to the surgeon. And we're gonna drape the inferior patient. We're gonna extend, make a cuff, and drop. Next medium sheet, I'm gonna to give to my surgeon. We're gonna unfold it, extend it, make a cuff, and place it superiorly. Now I like to do this first because it covers most of the patient and helps cut down on contamination. Next are the towels. We wanna make sure that we've already prepared the towels ahead of time if we bring all four up at the same time. So my surgeon's gonna grab the first towel and place it on their side. Right. Next, we're gonna go superiorly or the top side. Inferiorly or the bottom side. And then the last side is my side. Now, I always made sure that I was at least 12 to 18 inches away from the field. Even though I'm protected by a drape, I still don't want to risk contamination. So we have a pretty good squaring off right there. Our last drape is the laparotomy drape. Now, the great thing about drape manufacturers is they tell us exactly how to put this drape on the patient. So we can see our little man here telling us which way it goes. So I'm gonna place this right at the incision site. We're gonna unfold it. The surgeon is gonna grab one side. I'm going to grab the other. We're gonna cuff our hands and extend. Good. We're gonna completely unfold the drape. Cuff our hands again and extend. There we go. Our surgeon is gonna grab the white paper for us and there we have it, a complete and perfect <laughs> patient draping for supine or prone position. So this is Mike from Surge Tech Academy wishing you a great day in surgery and reminding you to be a superstar in your OR.